Coming up tomorrow night, it's Bellator 134 here from the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. And of course, you're now you see Josh Deepman, who's going to be on the car taking on Ralphio Butler. Josh, appreciate your time. You know, we had a, a pretty candid interview last week yeah. about some things. And before we got here, you said you lost another friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we lost Joe Dodo Saturday. What, so what's kind of going through your mind right now as you kind of get ready for this fight? I just miss him. Is it kind of hard to sit there and, and how do you mentally prepare yourself to step in the cage tomorrow night? I'm just going to go and do it, man. Just, yeah. I, I, you know, what are you doing? I got to pick up. If, if I don't, everything I said in that last interview was a total fucking lie. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I just, this is my chance to prove it. You can keep pushing on. You can keep, you can keep, you can move forward. All that shit I said, I meant that. I don't remember it all. I had to listen to that interview five times. I was getting ready, like, all that stuff just came out, but it helped me a lot. Like, thank God, because four days later, I needed that space. I got rid of all that, you know what I mean? But I just filled it back up again. Tomorrow, I'm going to get rid of something. Does it kind of fighting maybe keep your mind off it, though, of what's going on in your personal life? No, I haven't slept, dude. I've been up for a week. I got drunk twice yesterday. I smoked a pack of cigarettes every day. Like, I just, I am stressed. But I, but I have to be there for my, my people. Like I, I, it's not about me, you know. It's about what about his wife? What about you know, his Lisa? There's a lot of other people that are affected here. I can't. I don't have time. I don't. I, I, I told you I, I'm a selfish person. Man, but but maybe, maybe I'm not as selfish as I thought. Because that's all I've done. It's just just tried to be there. And just you know, I'm I'm the tough one. I'm the fighter. I, I have to be. I have to lead by example. If not, then I'm just a cop. I'm just a total fucking pussy. I'm a cunt, you know what I mean? And I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not gonna let my friends down. This is my friend, Brandon. Say hi. Hey, show, 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 show. What's up, My buddy. What's up? Good guy. This is my mom. That's right. We love each other. <laughs> I mean, any more motivation going in tomorrow night now, or is it kind of the same? I was pretty motivated before. But I'm motivated by not being motivated. I mean, you know, it's like I'm... I just, I'm not, I don't really care what happened. Made friends with the best possible, with the worst possible outcome. I don't really give a shit. These people need something to cheer for, man. This is like the fourth person in the last two months. So the little muffin top anti-superhero is gonna go out there, because I'm just like them. I'm a drug addict, I'm an alcoholic, I've suffered through all these same things. But I'm gonna prove that you, you don't have to, that you, you, there's, you can, there's other, you don't always have to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Have success. I remember you. There was a comment that really stuck out to me. You talked about I don't either a fucking cookie for being humane. I don't it, need it, it was about you're saying either I'm going to go in there and yeah, kill the old me or the death of the old guy, or it's going to be the, the rebirth of the guy I want to be. It's going to be both. How can it not be? If one guy dies and something else, I'd have to physically die because I'm ready to die tomorrow. So I hope you're ready to watch. Like, I don't. I just don't give a fuck. Man. Who's the guy you want to be? Anybody but the guy that I that I don't like, you know. I don't want to be that selfish guy that, that hurts people's feelings and thinks of himself. And I just don't want to be like that. I just want to be a better person. And I'm hoping by maybe that it'll make me a better fighter. Or being good at the one will make me better at the other. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I really don't know. I'm going out there to find something. Hopefully it's a big fat right hand right in the face and finally get some sleep. I tell you, I was talking to Raphael, and, nice guy. and he said, he goes, you know, the one thing that makes Josh tough is he's a guy that's going to close his eyes and start flinging away. I don't care. Shit hurts. Close my eyes. If he's swinging at me, I know he's, he's close enough for me to hit him. Fuck it. Because if I feel, you know, I know he's, he's, he's there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. I, mean, I don't know. You, you look at half these pictures with these guys. You can see me and Juggy. We're like this. Hey, both of us. <laughs> Ain't nobody looking at nothing. We're just swinging, man. That's, that's living. You know, that's living. You go out there and you live your life for the little short amount of time you can. And you, you, you bite down on your mouthpiece and you live second to second. And then when it's over, it's over. You go back to all the other bullshit. You know, but this, this, this community needs something to cheer for. Dude. We're, we're going to give it to them tomorrow. Me and Brandon and Maddie and Blair Tubman, all the Connecticut guys. We're going out there to fight. You know, this is a British invasion, but do you, yeah. kind, do you kind of feel like, this hey... This is the fucking train station, baby. This ain't no British invasion. <laughs> They're coming into our backyard. No, this is no, our that's place. That's fine. They've all been really nice guys. They've been respectful, and there hasn't been any problems, really, other than Brennan, which was awesome. I was inspired by that, you know? But it's, people are emotional right now, and that's good, because I am, too. There's going to be a lot of emotion in this building tomorrow. So. How, how excited yeah. are you for Brennan? He gets a big opportunity. I'm way more excited for Brennan than me. I'm 38 years old, man. I'm an old man, you know what I mean, in this sport. Like, Brennan's... 26? Yeah. 27? He's just a baby, man. 
He's already had a career at 185. He's going to be a champion at 170. He's going to go back up to 185. I told him, you get old like me, you're going to fight 205 or heavyweight. You're going to have like five lives. It's going to be I'm very excited for him. He's my, he's my little brother. I've known him since he was 12. That was his age when we met. And he didn't have a hair. Well, he still doesn't have a hair on his chest. He was just a baby. So he's like, he's like my brother. I mean, that kid. for you, after this fight, what is next for you? I'm going to go back. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to drink a lot of Crown Royal. And I'm coming right back out here to support him. I'm not going to, last time I missed it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to let him down again. I'm going to be right back out here. And then I'm going home and I'm going to cry. And I'm shutting my fucking phone off, dude. I I'm going to be selfish. I remember when you fought Manny Laura and you, you had a no contest with it. And I remember within about five minutes, you were sitting front row, cocktail in hand. But that's you. You're just, you're not going to change. No, because once I started to care, I was losing. It wasn't any fun anymore. Are you having fun with this sport? Are you having more fun now than you ever were? Yeah, I don't know whether it's because the window's closing and I'm trying to give, you know, save as much heat or whatever you say. You know what I'm saying? It's a metaphor. That one, that one sucked. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get as much as I can before the sand goes through my fingers. I'm trying to hold on to it because I know at some point I'm going to have to let go. And I don't want to be the guy that hangs around too long and he says, man, I don't want you to get hurt, dude. Stop. You know, I don't want to be that guy. So I just want to go, maybe maybe I'll get everything I need out of this sport tomorrow. I don't fucking know. I don't care. I don't play. I've learned one thing. I, the best plan is no plan. It's always when you have the most fun, right? You just jump in a car and you just go somewhere. That's just kind of the way I'm living life. I'm just winging it. Fuck it.